working on the Tahoe. What am I doing today? Well, you can see this Tahoe does not have a hitch. And I have a trailer, so that, that's a problem. So I bought this rebar hitch. And now I gotta figure out how to put it on. So here we go. Okay, here's what's going on. These two bolts here, if you can see that, and there's a total of uh, 10, and then there's these bolts underneath here. They all broke loose, and they're moving, but they're very, very tight, and I don't want to break them off. So I've worked them back and forth, and I've sprayed them with penetrating oil. I'm going to keep working on those. Um, but this cover came off really easy. The only problem is I found out that um, this one's broke off. This goes here. I guess it goes like this. And I got some cracks and stuff in it. But I bought some uh, plastic uh, epoxy. And... Uh, I'm going to try to get those fixed before I put it back on. So that's the next step is to keep working on those 10 bolts and see if I can get that thing off. Working on this uh, bumper here, plastic cover, and this tab was broke off. And what I used was this self-adhesive drywall tape and some plastic welder by Permatex. The only complaint I got is that... Um, it says you got five minutes to work with it. It's, <laughs> it dries super fast. Um, so I had a couple little, I'm not trying to make it pretty, just trying to reinforce it. A couple places it got cracked. Uh, so that way when we I bought it. So, But it, it seems like it's going to do the job. So anyway, we'll let that dry. I'll get that uh, old rebar off of there. Get the new one in. Get the uh, rebar hitch on 
and it appeared that the old bolts had uh, blue Loctite on them so I cleaned them up and I put blue Loctite on those and I got the uh, little plastic piece in that you crank down the uh, spare tire and here's my harness and I've got the hitch harness but I'm going to back off a little bit because a big storm is coming and I got to get the uh, had to get stuff picked up so I do have one more little plastic patch on the uh, bumper I got to work on uh, but I ran out of epoxy so I got to get some more things bolted up um, this uh, outlet here seven way the hole in the bumper did not quite fit the bracket and everything even though this is supposed to be OEM it would fit if this was upside down and I don't think that would have been a good idea so I had to cut a little bit trim a little bit trim a little plastic so I can get my inline plug hooked up in case I need that it wasn't that big a deal and I put two screws from the bottom so that's done tied up all the wire so now I gotta put the bumper face back on project.